what it do baby and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be doing a vlog for you guys it is currently 7 24 in the morning and i am so tired i woke up at 6 which i never do ever but i have a photo shoot today i'm trying to start waking up at 6 anyways to just start waking up earlier going to sleep earlier you know how that goes so hopefully that'll help me go to bed tonight at 10. But I just wanted to do a vlog for you guys because I'm trying to do more vlogs and I figured this was something a little bit more exciting that I'm doing. I'm going to be doing a photo shoot with my friend Max and Bianca and right now I'm just getting ready. Um, I haven't packed or anything yet so I'll kind of like go through with you guys the process of me getting ready for a photo shoot and what that entails. Okay, so this is my hair naturally without any products on it. This is it just air dried. It's kind of doesn't know if it wants to be straight or curly oh i was actually gonna straighten my hair it's been so long since i've had straight hair so i really want to try to straighten my hair today i mean i'm sure all of you guys know how to straighten your hair and honestly i'm not the best at it because i don't get a lot of practice because i usually curl it so i'm just gonna straighten my hair now <laughs> does anyone else always watch youtube videos while they're doing their hair and their makeup top tier for me top tier my hair feels really freaking gross i hate when it does this like sometimes it'll be fine and feel fresh and silky and then sometimes when i get out of the shower it'll just feel like it has like a residue on it and i've struggled with this ever since i've moved to la like i've really never had this problem until i moved here i think it's the water but it's so frustrating like it's just the texture it feels so gross con of living in la that is at the top of the list I'm about to shit my pants. <laughs> you disgust me. How can you live with yourself? Now, I normally don't drink Celsius in the morning. I really never drink Celsius or like any type of high caffeine stuff like this, but your girl's tired. She's tired. She woke up at six. She doesn't know what to do. This is my hair. This is my final result. Oh god, I'm scared to show you all the back because I haven't even seen the back. The back usually looks kind of rough when I do it. It's not too bad. Too bad. Too bad? I don't know. I haven't looked at it. And yeah, my hair still feels kind of gross, which is really frustrating because I only try to wash my hair once a week. So that time that I wash my hair is like the setup for my whole week. I'm probably going to have to wash it again, and that means I'm probably going to have to put heat on it again, which is frustrating, but you know, it's life. But for today, for this photo shoot, it'll do one day at a time. No. She always talks to me like I don't know what she's saying. No battery, please charge. <laughs> Do you hear her? Is that a very Yes. Is it good? Do you like it? No, it's so tragic. Look, there's no difference. There's a little bit of a difference. Okay, but like now I'm just too on. Maybe now I'm just too gone. Maybe now I'm just looking for that same vibe that you on. Cause I'm out here with my boys, going crazy in this bitch overseas, getting bent, no Mercedes in this bitch from made the Okay, so makeup tip that I heard on this podcast is to apply your concealer and instead of blending it out right away, let it sit for a little bit. I don't know the exact time, but I just usually let it sit while I do something else on my face. And that way it just stays in place more and it's less liquidy and you'll get more coverage. Smoke a lot, but I get green. My ball out, no SBs. I caught you out, you got serving that beast stop, no step team. I came through and that's real shit. No, no, I came, but I feel this. Feel the kid when I feel banks, I'll still be spitting that wheel. So waking up this early, aren't we? We're tired, huh? We're sleepy. <laughs> Good night, bubbas. Take me out of my place, but I stay in my zone. Let me right in my face. She can see through my soul. I said, don't think about it. I said, don't think about it. She took me out of my place, but I stay in my zone. Let me right in my face. She can see through my soul. I said, don't think about it. Hi. Hi. You brought a little camera? What's up, buddy? I did. I'm vlogging. How are we doing? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. This place is dope. Yeah, it's So, try to hide that. Where are you? You see that? You want to see the video. 
Okay. This is from Bianca's pole dancing, <laughs> everyone. It's from, it's from, it's from oh, pole dancing. Wow. Thank you. Did you kind of cover it up with tattoo, like with I tried makeup? To, I tried to put makeup on it to like lighten it. So yeah. I don't think you're not even. Hi, Shania. Hi, Bianca. This is John. Nice to meet you. So we're doing a video shoot. This is our photographer, Max. And we're going to be wearing these like SWAT team <laughs> <laughs> little things and some masks, which is very fitting for the pandemic we're going through. So. It's gonna be cute. This is my first outfit. It's Bianca's outfit. We just got done filming the video and taking like just some iPhone pictures on our phones. I'll insert some here so you guys can see. Came up as a church boy with my dukes on weekends. Waking up at like six, man. You don't get paid if you sleep. Look at this pool. It's beautiful. Emily's. Oh, never mind. She just got up. There's him. Hey. This is the pool. We are drinking some Starbucks that Emily brought us. And my last vlog, she brought me um, some Starbucks too, so. Freaking Angel, and then they ordered me some tofu scramble, so. I'm about to eat, I'm about to eat good. I haven't eaten today, so I'm real hyped for that. So we left the photo shoot, but we're about to go back to the same house because they invited us to a Memorial Day party, and I'm really excited and nervous because I haven't talked to people or been around people in like, two months <laughs> at least not a lot of people are like new people i'm excited but nervous at the same time so we'll see how it goes i'm not gonna bring my camera because i feel like that's i'm not there yet <laughs> i'm not comfortable enough to be walking around and party with new people with my camera but maybe one day i'm just gonna go have fun i'm gonna bring bean this is my outfit me and emily are kind of matching we both have rompers on and jean jackets we do that a lot actually i think i'm gonna continue this vlog to tomorrow because i want to include some workout stuff so i will see y'all in the morning this is one of the journals that I do every day. It's the Daily Stoic Journal. The only thing I do not like about this journal is that the dates are already pre-written for you, which gives me anxiety because, I mean, this is like saying that you have to every single day, twice a day journal, which it's not hard because it's just like a couple sentences. I'm always behind and I'm always having to like play catch up, so I would just like it more if I could just put the dates in myself. But I guess if you're someone who's really accountable and you're going to actually journal every single freaking day, this is a good book for you. But I just want to read y'all the prompt this morning. It says, can I be a good person right here, right now? So I'm going to write my little paragraph about how I'm thinking, how I'm feeling about that, how I'm reflecting on that. And then my other book that I do, my other journal that I do every morning is this productivity planner. And you basically, I need to do like the start of the week because I didn't do that yesterday. See, these journals, <laughs> I don't do them every day, but I do, I do them really, I do do them really often, but I don't do them every day. I usually maybe like six, five, six days out of the week. Ooh. Damn, that just slapped me in the face. Damn, that just slapped me in the face. It said, the reason you're suffering is you're focused on yourself. True. For this journal, it has like a little quote right here and then you basically write five things that you're gonna do today in the order of most importance. I'm gonna write everything I'm gonna do today. You can write some notes and then at the end of the day, you rate yourself in productivity. And I got this one from Urban Outfitters and I got this one off of Amazon. Just the Daily Stoic Journal. Make sure you put journal because if not, you're gonna get the book, which is also great. But if you wanna have the journal, make sure you put Daily Stoic Journal. I want to read y'all what I wrote. It says, can I be a good person right here, right now? I said, always. I can be a good person by giving people the benefit of the doubt, doing my part to get back to my family and community during this time, lifting others up and making them feel good about themselves, working on myself so that I can show up for others. <laughs> I know you freak love, baby. Everything you do is amazing. I got what you need. Dun -dun 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 -dun. You a freak love, baby. 
dun, 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 dun. I just wanted to hop on here while I was editing because I realized I forgot to give you guys an update on the whole moving back to Texas situation which was a huge problem for me in my last vlog so I wanted to give you guys an update. I went to Texas and I had an amazing time. I was a little overwhelmed because I was just seeing so many people back to back to back and for me when I do that it's really hard for me to focus on myself but regardless I'm so happy that I went because I was able to connect with my friends and family and create memories that are gonna last me forever. Ever. I'm really happy with how the Austin trip went, but I am deciding to stay in LA. For me, the deciding moment was I was driving with my friends best friends. And when you call me a friend, make sure you put best in front of it. Um I was riding with my best friends Whitney and Aaliyah and I was just looking around Austin when we were on the way back to Whitney's and I was like, I've seen all of this before. None of this is new and exciting to me. I grew up there so I've been in those streets for so long. It's not like if I were to move to Dallas or Houston, I could kind of have a new areas and explore new things, but Austin was just somewhere that I've been for so long, which is great in and of itself, but I don't think that's what I'm looking for right now in my life. I want to have new experiences, go to new places, drive down the street and be like, oh, what's that boutique? Or, oh, what's that food place? And things like that. I think the solution for me is to stay in LA and to visit home much more often. I'm gonna try to visit at least every three months now because going six months just isn't going to do it for me. I need to see my family and friends way more often than that to keep myself grounded and keep myself happy. So yeah, that is my little mini update for you guys. I also just wanted to add in a little transition because the transition that I originally filmed, the video won't show up, it's only audio. Before my workout, I went to run some sprints. I usually do about eight sprints right now, but obviously I couldn't bring my camera with me. I just went for sprints right here in this time period. And here's my workout. Most of y'all got no chill, they'll get it poppin' in snow weather Some kids just need love, they'll put in work for like no cheddar L Looking up to them dope boys, they got bands like Coachella yeah, yeah, just remember, I might have your girl for dinner I'm the man year-round, January to December She take me out of my place, but I stay in my zone Look me right in my face, she can see through my soul I said don't think about it I said don't think about it Take me out of my place, but I stay in my zone Look me right in my face, she can see through my soul I said don't think about it I said don't think about it She take me out of my place, but I stay in my zone Look me right in my face, she can see through my soul I said don't think about it I'm about to go to sleep, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this vlog All I pretty much did today was after I did my workout I did a little bit of stretching very minimum and then I did painting with the twist on zoom with some of my friends from Texas And it was so fun. Actually, let me show you guys my painting Ugh, I don't feel like getting up. I'll just insert a picture. But yeah, it was really fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.